Hi everyone and welcome to Watercolors with Jaylene. Today's tutorial is going to be some little strawberries, three little strawberries. And if you have not liked and subscribed to my channel, if you could go ahead and do that, I would greatly appreciate it. So for today, let's get started by going over the materials list, which is very small and very basic. So I have my watercolor paper, I have paper towel for blotting my brush, a jar of clean water, I have a number eight round paintbrush, I have my um, white gel pen, an 01 nib uh, micron waterproof marker, and then of course my 24 count uh, Winsor & Newton paint set. So this little paint set I had purchased to take to the beach or the park so that I could paint, you know, wherever I go. And I do find myself using it at home probably more often than not. So today for the strawberries, we're really only going to be using two colors, which is going to be a permanent rose for the berry and then hooker's green for the uh, green tops on it. And you're going to be amazed at how easy this really is to do. So I have already um, just lightly sketched in with a pencil three heart shapes, which will be the strawberries. And I don't know if you can see those, but it's very, very light. So what I'm going to do is uh, start with the um, permanent rose and just go through and paint in the strawberries themselves. And I'm putting it on kind of light, uh, and there's quite a bit of water in my brush and the reason for that is because I will be doing some shading and not with a different color but with more paint of the same color so uh, what I the effect that I want is like the light is shining down from above onto the berries so I want the underside of each of the berries to be a little bit darker so I'll put just a little more paint on my brush and kind of load it up down on this side and with it being very wet, they'll blend. Okay, so while that's kind of drying, I'm going to just go down to my bottom strawberry and paint this in and there again I do have quite a bit of water on the brush just so that everything can blend well. And a quick little fun fact that if you're not, if you don't already know, most strawberries, they come from, well, I'm not even sure where, other parts of the country, I wanna say like California, most of the year. And in the winter time, the only place that strawberries are grown is in Florida. And that's where I'm located, so. There's always a big strawberry festival in February. And uh, anyway, so we do have strawberries down here and it's uh, quite a popular um, product to, to grow. All right, so now we're just kind of painting this one in. And they aren't perfect, and that's okay, you know, nothing out in nature is perfect. And you can see I'm doing the, you know, a little more paint, just kind of dabbing it on the bottom part of this one as well, you know, to give it that effect. And it'll blend in nice, just give it a couple of minutes. All right, so we have the base of all three strawberries painted in. And we're going to give this just a minute to dry before we get started on the green tops and then adding the seeds. And uh, so while that's drying, I just wanted to give a quick mention that I do also have a Patreon page. If you are not a member of my Patreon page and if you're not familiar with what it is, uh, it is a monthly membership and there are several different levels that you can join. There's videos on there. Um, there's a lot of traceables. So these strawberries, for instance, if you can't draw strawberries but you want to paint them, head on over to my Patreon page. There's downloads where you can download this and a lot of other 
um, items on there. I have the uh, sand dollars, I have sailboats, uh, fish, there's, there's just all kinds of stuff on there and I'm adding to it all the time. So that's something to check out. Also, you can check out my Instagram page and that is, um, I want to say that's a Jaylene Kiefer, J-A-Y-L-E-N-E-K-E-E-F-E-R. And I have a lot of quick videos on there also. So, uh, so you can find me. I'm, I don't do a lot on Facebook. I am pretty much just on YouTube, Instagram, and then my Patreon. And uh, so if you like what you see and you do want a little more information or traceables or tutorials, you can always reach out to me. Definitely leave a comment in the section comment section below. And also, uh, because I will get back to you. And also, any of the products that I'm using today are in my description below. And there is a link for each one of them, and it'll take the link will take you to Amazon. So if you wanted to purchase them, I do have a disclaimer that I make a small percentage off of each purchase. It does not increase your cost of the item, but I do make a, a small uh, commission off of that. So if you like the items, feel free to check those out below. And we're going to give this just a minute because I do want this to be very dry so that I don't want the other colors blending. And then also when I go to draw the seeds on there with my gel pen, I want to make sure that the strawberries are very, very dry so that that goes on well. So we'll give this just a minute. Okay, so I think these are dry enough now. And so we're going to do the, the green stems. And for the green stems, as I had mentioned earlier, we're going to be using Hooker's Green. So I want to load up my brush pretty heavy with paint. Okay, so for each one of the stems, it's very easy. There's just three strokes, and three brush strokes. So we start in the middle, and I press down kind of hard, and then as I pull away, I lift up. And I'm going to do that three times and pull away and lift up and then in the middle pull away and lift up okay and then on this one the same thing start in the middle push down and then as I'm pulling away lifting up okay see how easy this is anybody can do this it's fun and there and it, the more you do it the more comfortable you feel you you do get better um, but I mean basically you do you, the, your comfort level really uh, increases so I'm just adding a little paint to the base of all of these to give it a little more depth all right, so we have the stems done. So now I will take, I'm gonna move those out of the way, and I'm going to take my gel pen, and this is just a, a Jelly Roll number eight gel pen, and the description for this will be down below also. You can get these in any craft store. So with the gel pen, I'm going to uh, draw little dashes for the seeds. Now, if you wanted to take white paint or even a light tan colored paint and paint the seeds on, you could do that also. I just think this is a little quicker. Okay, so you can see little dashes and kind of do them sporadically throughout. Some can be bigger than others. And then on this one, And just draw in some seeds there we go and then on our third one and this is strawberry season probably one of my favorite fruits 
you could always put these on a little greeting card. Um, you know, they're, they're cute. Okay, so we have those, the seeds drawn in on all of them. So now what I will do is take my 01 nib black marker and I'm going to go just on the one side of each seed and I'm going to draw just a, a short little dash and it's basically just an outline or a highlight. I should say highlight. And it's going to add depth and character to the um, to the seeds and, and make them pop. And as I'm doing this, I do it all on, on each one. I stay on the same side as this, of the seed. So on this middle one, because the middle berry is facing up, I'm going to go on the bottom side of each one. And there again, you know, just a little, a little dash to highlight the, the seed itself. If you have a really fine um, paintbrush and you feel comfortable painting the black lines on, you can do that also. I don't feel quite that comfortable. This is so much easier. And you can see how quick it is. So there we have it. And I'm going to move this up just a little bit so that you can see it a little bit better. But... Um, that's it. That is our little set of strawberries. And as I had mentioned before, if you have not already liked and subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, ciao for now.